dear students i welcome all of you in the new subject session the name of this subject is traffic engineering and management you have already learned certain aspects of transportation engineering highway transportation rail transportation water transportation and air transportation in the previous subject the name what that was the of the subject was transportation engineering so what is the difference between that transportation engineering and this traffic engineering let us learn the basic difference my name is jay kumar soni and you already know myself you have learned various aspects of transportation engineering from myself so let us continue the session of traffic engineering and management make sure that you do not have any kind of confusions or misunderstandings about transportation engineering and traffic engineering because both of these subjects are interrelated but they are quite different they are individual subjects and in order to establish yourself as a good transportation engineer in the market you need to have proper knowledge of traffic engineering let us learn the glimpse of this subject what i am going to cover in this topic is i am going to cover the concept of traffic engineering and management and the scope of traffic engineering and management the word scope means uh, uh, scope is the boundary of the subject it does not mean what are the future opportunities of traffic engineering and management that will be covered in the scope, in the what i can say opportunity part but scope means whenever we are discussing about scope of anything in technical language the scope stands for boundary c the scope stands for boundary fine so let us learn first is about the first segment is about introduction the name of the subject is traffic engineering and management if you split this word in two parts then there will be two individual words first is called as traffic engineering and second is called as traffic management so traffic engineering is the branch of engineering which majorly deals with the planning and geometric design of roads and highways see you have learned that what do you mean by geometric design there are various kind of cross sectional elements that you have learned you have learned about the side distances stopping side distance that overtaking side distance side distance at the intersection you have also learned how to calculate super elevation what do you mean by pavement widening what is mechanical widening what is psychological widening so whenever someone is talking about traffic engineering that means he or she is dealing about the planning and geometric design of the road and highway but not only the geometric design of highway it is also having the correlation with few other things few important things such as traffic operations it majorly focuses towards sec theory that means safe economic and convenient travel or we can say safe convenient and economic travel of the person see you haven't learned a uh, quite core part of traffic engineering yet so you might have certain assumptions that okay traffic engineering means how the traffic is accumulated on the road surface then how to reduce the traffic this subject may be have the relevance with, with all those things that is quite right but apart from that thing there are number of other things also that is being covered in this subject and make sure you need to have our knowledge you need to have the understanding that once you learn both the subject of transportation engineering and traffic engineering you can have two career options one is as transportation engineer or design engineer and another is totally different that is called as traffic engineer traffic engineer is the core branch of employment so traffic engineering is the branch of engineering that deals with the planning and geometric design of roads and highway it also focuses on the traffic operations its major purpose is towards providing safe economic and convenient travel for both the persons and goods this is the official definition that is been provided by piarc p i a r c that means permanent international association of road congress you know what is the 
name of World Congress of India. We have learned that thing in highway engineering and transportation engineering that is called as IRC, Indian Road Congress. But whenever we are dealing about the criteria which are established on the global platform, those criteria are defined by PIARC. PIARC stands for Permanent International Association of Road Congress. So, this is the basic of traffic engineering. It majorly deals with the SEC. It also deals with the regulation, development and control of both vehicular and pedestrian traffic. See, all the regulations such as Motor Vehicle Act or any kind of rules and regulations are lived under, are formulated under the branch of traffic engineering. So, what we have learned in this slide is traffic engineering is the branch of engineering that deals with the planning and design of traffic design, planning and geometric design of highways along with the provision of safe, economic and convenient travel of both persons and goods. This definition is provided by Permanent International Association of Road Congress. Traffic engineering also deals with RDC that stands for Regulation, Development and Control of Vehicular and Pedestrian Traffic. In order to provide uh, the same thing I have narrated about safe, economic, and convenient traffic. Now, the another thing is about traffic management. So, the name of the subject is traffic engineering and management. So, basically, it is the combination of traffic engineering and traffic management. So, so we also have to learn traffic management. Traffic management is basically the branch which involves various kind of means and methods which are being used, which are being utilized for the maximum extent of road utilization means how can I explain, okay if one town is there so tra what traffic management person will do traffic management person will provide such methods through which maximum amount of road stretch is being utilized or maximum extent of the road is being utilized by the people. So, no part of the road is underutilized. Underutilized means less utilized. So, traffic management deals with the means and methods which are adopted to utilize the road system of the town for the maximum extent with the maximum limit. Now, scope. Let us discuss about the scope. Here, the scope means what are the aspects till which this segment is limited, means which aspects you are supposed to learn, that means scope, scope doesn't mean the future opportunity, scope stands for the boundary of that subject or any of the things. Scope can be remembered as one of the shortcut method that is called as CSGOPA, 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 where the C stands for traffic characteristics. S stands for traffic studies, G stands for geometric design, O stands for traffic operation control and regulations, P stands for planning and analysis, and A stands for administration and finance. So, scope is divided into C, S, G, O, P, A. You have to have the knowledge of traffic management scope or the scope of traffic engineering and management. The scope of traffic engineering and management can be explained with six parameters. C S G O P A. C stands for traffic characteristics. S stands for traffic studies. G stands for geometric design. O stands for operation control and regulation of the traffic. P stands for planning and analysis. And A stands for administration and finance. What does it mean? It means that if you learn all these things in detail thoroughly, then your knowledge about the traffic engineering and management is quite sound. In order to, let me tell you other way, if you want to learn traffic engineering and management, with a good learn, that you need to do the job of understanding the knowledge of this system and P-O-P-A. Fine, so this is about the scope. So now what we will do, we will learn all the parameters which are being included as a part of scope of traffic engineering and management in brief. We will learn 
what is being covered in traffic characteristics, what is being covered in traffic studies, what is being covered in geometric design, in planning and analysis, in administration and finance. So what we are discussing over here is we are discussing about the scope of traffic engineering and management. The first is about C. C. C S G O T A. Here the C stands for traffic characteristics. See the traffic characteristics parameter can be understood with the combination of two things. First it is the road user characteristics and second is the vehicle characteristics. That means the summation of road user characteristics that means us, driver, pedestrian and the characteristics of vehicle that means dimension, static characteristics, dynamic characteristics. The summation of both road user characteristics and vehicular characteristics will give the detailed idea of traffic characteristics. The road user characteristics can be further divided into physical, mental, emotional and psychological parts. That means it is dealing with the characteristics relevant to the human being because no vehicle has the characteristics such as mental, emotional and physical. So, Road user characteristics, characteristics basically deals with the human being characteristics. And if we are discussing about vehicular characteristics, then dimensions, weight, maximum turning, radius, braking system, all these parameters are covered in the vehicular characteristics. So basically traffic characteristics is the combination of road user and vehicle. The second thing is about CS, S stands for traffic studies and analysis. Traffic studies and analysis, whenever we are discussing about traffic studies and analysis, one new thing that comes over here is the traffic census. We have learnt about the population census. What we do in population census is a survey is done and at the end of the survey, the data is segregated in form of how many male people are there, how many female people are there what are the criteria of those people. So that is called as people census. Now traffic census means traffic surveys are done and all kind of traffic data are collected. Now which kind of data are collected in traffic census? So volume study that of at this point of the road, how many vehicles passes the cross section of the road at the particular point that is called as volume study. Then parking studies, then accident studies, that how many accidents take place, origin and destination studies, that how many vehicles consider this location as the origin and this location as the destination of their trip. So this is about traffic studies. Now another thing is about geometric design. We have already covered geometric design in detail in the transportation in the engineering part. In which side distance, cross sectional element, super elevation, of widening of pavement, all this criteria are covered. Now the another part is about traffic operation, control and regulation. Basically, as the name suggests, traffic operation, control and regulation deals with various kind of regulations, various kind of rules, laws and control measures such as speed limit, overtaking is prohibited, one-way traffic is there, U-turn is prohibited. Such kind of signs you may uh, see on on the road whenever you are traveling on the road. So this particular kind of signs are provided under this scope of traffic engineering and management that is called as traffic operation control and regulation. Then comes the planning part. Planning and analysis is the separate phase. It is the different phase for major highways such as national highway, expressways, arterial roads, parking facilities, transit facilities. So for parking, the planning measure should be different. For arterial roads, the planning measure should be different. If national highway is there, then different planning is required. So, for each category of road, for each facility of the road, planning and analysis part differs. Then comes the geometric design. I have already covered that aspects such as cross sectional road, surface details, side distances, alignment, intersection, parking facilities are covered. So this is about the scope and administration finance, administration and finance that is the last part that deals with the provision of fund for carrying out this kind of operations. 
So what we have learned in this particular session is we have learned about traffic engineering definition, traffic management definition, what is the scope of traffic engineering, the shortcut keyword CSGOPA, that means characteristic speed studies, geometric, operational control, planning and analysis, and administration finance. I hope you have gone through the concept thoroughly. Thank you so much.